fundamental theorem of calculus. So the idea is like, if you have a function, say that 2x plus 3, and you want to take integral of this, we know it is 2 times x squared over 2 plus 3x, is that right? And then we add a constant here. And the simplified version is x squared plus 3x plus c. Now, when you are writing, say so that you have 0 to 1 and 2x plus 3 dx, then this is the integral we got. I can just drop the constant in here, and this result we call it uppercase fx. All right? And then this integral you are writing uppercase fx, which is x squared plus 3x, and then plug the limit here, 0 to 1. What do you do first? Replace 1 for x. You get 1 squared plus 3 times 1. This is 1 part minus now lower limit. Plug x equals 0. So 0 squared plus 3 times 0. And after simplification, you get 1 plus 3, which is 4 minus 0. So that is your answer. So if you look at the problem I have on the left hand side, so we are writing our problem here as a theorem, integral a to b f of x dx, and the integral of this function is uppercase fx, which is same as here, x squared plus 3x. And then first you replace x by b here, then x by a. So that exactly we did. First we plug 1, and then we plug 0, and Take the difference and that is your definite integral uh, based on the fundamental theorem of calculus all right so next you see what happens um, example two we have a problem here it says the rate of population is given by this one so rate meaning is the derivative so we have this they're asking you find the population so you understand that this one you need to find by the integration. When you take the integral of derivative of a function, that's the main function. So that exactly we have tried here with some information. You know that initial population is 4,000 when t is zero. And we are taking 1990 as the base year, so t is zero. When you're talking about 2020, then you can see the difference is 30, so t is 30. And that exactly we do. First, we take the integral, so we found our integral pt is this one, and we add a constant. Use the initial condition here, p0. That gives you c is negative 2,000, and then plug it back here. After that, you calculate this one for t equals 30. So next, we take example number three. Uh, it is given you that the integral that goes from 0 to b to x plus 7 is negative 10, so we need to find what is b. So how do you do this one? With a simple idea, you are taking integral 0 to b, and then you have 2x plus 7. We take plain integral, and that answer we said negative 10 is right. It is given in the problem. So now this one is giving me the integral of 2x plus 7 will be 2 times x squared over 2 plus 7x, and our limit is 0 to b, and that gives me negative 10. 2 to cancel out, plug your b for x, b squared plus 7b, and then when you plug 0, it goes to 0, minus 0. That is negative 10. So I get now b squared plus 7b plus 10 equals 0. Now, this is the quadratic equation. We can solve using quadratic formula, or you can factor it. You know, the factors of 10 will be 5 and 2. So you can say b plus 5 times b plus 2 equals 0. And from this, you can easily see b is negative 5 and b is negative 2. So these are the answers, that when b is either negative 2 or negative 5, then the integral 
will be negative 10. All right. So this is the idea. Now let me show you this one in the graphing calculator. We can do it in the graphing calculator as well. So type your function. So you go here, type your function. You have b squared. I just use x for b. So x is squared plus 7x and then plus 10. All right. And then you can go here and zoom 6 for a standard window. Oops, sorry. I need to go to standard window. I can go to zoom here and then 6. So this is the graph. Now, these are the solutions here. You can go to second, trace, 2, 4, 0. Move your pointer. Let find. Let us find this one first. So left side is this one. Enter and move it to the right side of the 0 that you're expecting. Hit enter. So that gives you negative 2 in here, right? Same process if you apply, you will get negative 5. Let's see second trace two is for zero let's move the pointer all the way left side of the zero we are expecting enter then move it to the right side of x intercepts right and then hit enter one more time that gives you negative five so these are the solutions all right